Hello and welcome to episode 84 of my Were Not Unlimited tutorial series. This episode is going to be on alignment in religion. Firstly, thank you to all of you that has liked any of my videos for you have shown your true support and I am in your debt for that so thank you very much. Secondly, before I begin on alignment, two updates for the follower episode that I did before this one. Update number one, another follower or priest can convert you to foe if, even if you have zero alignment in Worm Unlimited. Thank you to Roman for reminding me of this fact. Um, sometimes I do make uh, mistakes and subconsciously I'm quite sure it's just to get you engaged with a comment so thank you very much to you Roman and to all the rest of you which help me out when you correct me on one of my mistakes of which there can be many but such is life to be human is to err okay continuing on update 2 any follower of a dainty can convert other players provided they have the statuette of their god in their inventory and it's activated. So what is this day? Well down here you'll see there's a statuette of Venora, one of Foe and the Magranon one has been borrowed by someone but I'm quite sure at some point Rainstorm will find out which naughty person it is and get them to put it back in its rightful place. And on that subject, well done to Rainstorm for creating a beautiful little area for us to have for our religion. Okay, so, carrying on. The follower or the priest must activate the statuette of their god and right click on you, selecting convert under the religion tab. Now before they right click on you to convert you, you must have toggled on invitations. Now to do that, bring up your chat window, type forward slash invitations. When you do that, that will then give them the option to, inv to convert you. Now if they right click on you and there's not a convert option, it basically means you haven't done invitation forward slash invitations so there you are you've been warned you now know what to, you now know what now know what to do you may only be converted once every seven days and must have a body skill of 1.5 or above to get converted by another player now why does it say every seven days because you're thinking well once you get converted then that's it no it might be you start off by being a venora, venora follower and then later at a later date find out that actually you prefer foes spells as i do because he's got one of the best enchants that you're gonna get anyway i'm drifting so you'll want to change convert to foe so you, the answer to this question well no question but the answer to it is basically you can switch from any chosen god to another god but you can only do it once every seven days so there you have it you can't be converted if you're mounted or on something like a horse or a car so again pay heed when being converted by a priest, your starting faith will be equal to one-fifth of their preaching skill. So don't worry, we'll get into preaching in another episode, and it will be a good one. Okay, let's start on alignment. Now, I've mentioned this before, but as this episode is on alignment, I will mention it again. Alignment is a measure of how good you are to your God. 100 alignment being the maximum for Foe, Venora and Magranon and minus 100 for Libilla. An alignment of zero is sufficient to be accepted for the four gods. Um, for priests, a high alignment value increases chances to successfully cast spells while a low alignment value lowers the chances. Alignment is also said to affect your fighting ability, but it is unknown by how, how much. Well, hopefully in a future episode we can actually all witness that. 
Okay, moving on. So, here's a pertinent question I want you to think about. Okay, to cause, because I want to engage you. Okay, and it's regarding alignment. <clears throat> right, okay, sorry, I'm just looking in my notes. Here's the question. What happens if you have been a good follower for the past six months? You are nearly ready to become a priest, but for the past five months you've not checked your alignment. So here's the question. What happens if your alignment goes to zero? Have a think about that and I will answer shortly. But for now, I want you to engage and have a think. What happens if your alignment gets to zero? Okay, moving on. Here is the golden rule to alignment. The one thing you must understand and remember, always keep your alignment at a minimum of 20. If you can get it higher, good. The higher it is, the safer you will be. Now let's answer the question I asked you a moment ago. If your alignment gets to zero, what happens? Well, I'll tell you, you will lose all of your faith and all of your favour. The last 12 days of praying every 20 minutes to get your faith to 30 was all in vain. Time to start over. So pay heed to my golden rule. You have been warned. Now, you'll see that mine's only on 4 at the moment. Um, I did get it up to 4.50, but it's only dropped a slight amount. And I'll be showing you in a moment how to get it up. So, let's carry on. Now, let's discuss ways that your alignment can go down or up. And this is how you will hopefully eventually max your alignment to 100, like Roman has. He has a faux follower on our server, and he managed to get his alignment maxed on 100. Remember, for Libilla, it's minus 100, the max. Alignment will automatically go towards 1 over time for white lighters and minus 1 for black lighters. So if your alignment is at 20 and you play for 8 hours straight without increasing your alignment, you may notice that it has dropped to 19 if you are a white lighter. For Libilla, it would of course be minus 19 if it was at 20 before. So hopefully now you're comprendi with that. This is only an example by the way, not factual, as I believe it would take many more hours before you notice a drop in your alignment in Worm. Um, it definitely doesn't occur fast. It's a very slow thing for your alignment to fall, which is why I've told you to get it tw to 20, because then you'll have plenty of warning. You never want to risk getting it to zero. Okay, moving on. When alignment goes down for, what a, for whatever reason, it will drop slowly. Thus, at zero faith, one would lose 1.0 alignment. And at 100 faith, one would lose 0 0.5 alignment. This loss is halved in local range to the white light for white lighters, so the altar of three, and the bone altar for Libilla, the black lighter. Each, moving on, each god likes and dislikes different things, different actions. For example, Foe likes when you plant flowers or sprouts or when you farm, but Venora likes when you cut trees that are older than old. Magranon likes when you mine, but Foe does not like you mining. So whilst you might be getting alignment for Magranon, if Foe catches you mining, you will lose alignment for Foe. And on the, that subject, Neva does Venora. Venora especially doesn't like you destroying pavements, only if she catches you. Now, I use the word restrictions and you may be thinking, well, if I choose foe, I cannot mine. Yes, you can. You just need to do actions that foe likes to get your alignment back up to 20. 
thereby getting your alignment back that you lost when mining. Each time you mine, you will not lose alignment. It is only when the god catches you doing something that you do, they do not like that you lose alignment. And then, like I say, you can replenish your alignment by doing actions that they do like. Now, let's say this character wants to do an action that their god does not like. You will not be able to do that action until you left-click Faithful. When you click on it, you will say, see that it becomes unfaithful. You may now go against the will of your god. So if you want to go mining now, and you don't, and and I'm a Venora follower, it's or or let's say I want to start breaking up pavements because I'm a Venora follower. Then, um, if I broke up ten pavements, she may only catch me once. That means I will only lose alignment once. The other nine times, I'd have got away scot free. So that means I'd have only got lost a slight bit of alignment, which I can easily get back. But then remember, once you've finished upsetting your god, to turn on the faithful again. So you obey your god's wishes. So there's that. Okay, right, carrying on. So, in conclusion, you can choose any god you like, but know that, if you do actions they dislike and get caught, you will then have to do actions that they do like to keep your alignment up, to get it back up. You are now asking me, is there a limit on how often I can raise my alignment by doing actions? The answer is yes. Gaining alignment points, either positive or negative, has a cooldown timer. Once you have gained an alignment tick, you must wait 30 minutes before you are able to gain again. Note that alignment automatically drifting towards zero does not affect this timer. Okay, now I'm going to read from the wonderful Wormpedia the actions that can affect your alignment in a positive or a negative way. So, listen up. Okay, let me just switch to the correct page. Okay, I'm now going to read um, the altering your alignment actions on the alignment page on the wonderful Wormpedia. So, here we go. First action, butchering a human corpse, gives minus one to your alignment. Burying a human corpse gives plus two to your alignment. Listening to a confession gives plus and minus, gives a plus and minus one to your alignment. So if you're a white lighter, it will give you plus one. If you're a black lighter, it will give you minus one. Confessing to a priest, plus minus five to your alignment holding a sermon plus minus one to alignment listening to a sermon plus minus five depending on preaching success which we're getting to later on converting someone to your religion plus minus one to your alignment healing another player oh yeah there's some cool spells in this game and one of them is healing and every time you go around the world sharing your love and healing people you will get plus one to your alignment but remember there is a 30 minute timer before you can regain that alignment again successfully lock picking if you're on the pvp server in uh, worm online or on a public server where um, them skills are allowed. So successfully lock picking minus five to alignment. So if you're Libilla, then you want to go the way of the thief. Casting bless on players, and here's another cool spell that you'll get, gives plus one to your alignment, and it's quoted as being possibly random. Sacrificing items in an altar, plus minus one. But bear in mind it says the item must be of a value of at least 50 copper. So how do you know the value of an item? Well in your pocket if you right click on an item, go to prices, get price, down here it will tell you how much it's worth. Most of my stuff, being a new player, is worthless. But for you, 
you rich people you can just right click and see if it's worth 50 copper if it is you can then sacrifice it in an altar but I'll be covering that a bit later on and we'll be doing it for a different reason moving on praying at the white light on chaos plus three to your alignment which is why I took you to the white light to to be converted because you got that plus three to alignment praying at the black light you get minus three to your alignment desecrating an altar minus two to your alignment killing of a white lighter minus five to your alignment killing of a black lighter plus five to your alignment plant a sprout or a flower plus one to your alignment for foe only felling trees older than old plus one to your alignment Venora only but sometimes Magronon working on walls plus 0 0.5 Venora only mining plus 0 0.5 Magronon only kill a creature plus 0 0.5 Magronon only kill a creature minus 0 0.5 Lobilla libella only so there we are there's a huge list to get you started with what gives you alignment and what takes away alignment so now you have a video on YouTube that will be there for hopefully a very long time that you can use to reference whenever you need to know what gives you alignment for what chosen God so hopefully you will find it very useful in the future right moving on okay so this character I'm logged in with is a Venora follower so let's do the action that will raise my alignment for Venora so if you remember it was cutting down trees older than old so that's what we're gonna need to do we're gonna need to now find a tree that is older than old so let's activate the hatchet we're going to observe the alignment here and we're now going to find a tree and cut it down and hopefully not upset um, rainstorm. Now, let's see. We need to first find a tree which is older than old. Ah, perfect. Overaged. Now, please forgive me, rainstorm. This is all in the name of sharing of knowledge that I cut down this overaged tree before me. I know my skill is probably going to be really low, but there you go. Now, I'm going to cut the tree down. I want you to observe the alignment gain. So, I'm going to right click. Nature, uh, I'm just going to right click and cut. In fact, I've got a hotkey, so let's use that. Make things a bit quicker. Right, okay. Do you see that my alignment went from four, jumped a whole one now to five? And that my dear um, Wormians is how you increase your alignment okay so you now know how to make all of your gods happy and increase your alignment so in the same token you know, now know how you can get away with doing actions that your god will not like and how you can restore your alignment thereby removing any restrictions placed upon you how fantastic is that so there we go well before before I go though I just want to remind you all because I did make the mistake in the last episode just to remind you everyone who has zero alignment can join be converted to all of the gods okay well I hope you liked this episode on alignment if you did please increase your alignment to me by clicking the like button gamester the god of games would love that wherever you are in the world God bless you and keep every last one of you safe thank you for watching and have a fantastic day goodbye